Hello and welcome back. We're in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 11. He who loves purity of heart and has grace on his lips, the king will be his friend. Uh, that, that is uh, a great verse here. He who loves the purity of heart, meaning, um, you know, what, that, what does it come from the inside? Are, are we really letting our inside come out of who we really are? Are we allowing that to happen? It has grace on his lips. What's grace mean? Uh, uh, looking at another person and, and not condemning, but say, looking at when they do something wrong and saying, hey, you know what? I, I, I forgive. I, you know, I'm there to help you. Um, I, I'm willing to help you get better. I'm willing to be there for you. That doesn't mean uh, we, we give people a pass on things. Somebody, oh, grace, we're just going just gonna to let that slide. No, not letting it slide, but helping people overcome the difficulties, the sins, the evils in their life to become the person who God wants them to be. Grace and lips, uh, an example would be, uh, man, you did that. I can't believe you did that. That's a bad example. Good example. Yeah, I, I, I know you did that. You know what? I had something similar in my life happen. And you know what? God still loves you. He still cares for you. Now, he doesn't like what you're doing. So what, what's help you take steps to stop doing that in life so you can have the life and the blessings that you want? Um, grace helps someone overcome in their life. And the king will be his friend. Now, the king, the king of kings, Jesus Christ, will be your friend. He'll be there for you. The king likes people like that. He'll have a purity of heart. Because somebody is pure of heart, they're trustworthy. You know, they, they actually are who they say they be. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's who they are. are. Are they true to who they are? Are they the same all the time? Are they someone that you can trust? Now, some of you might have a little bit different exterior. Some might be a little more gruff. Some might be a little more nice. Some might, but God, I mean, it's all different for different reasons. Um, and just because their personality is a little different doesn't mean that they'll have pure heart. You know, people think a pure heart is going to be this really docile. You know, sometimes it can be somebody who's really uh, one of those bold people. But, you know, it doesn't mean they don't have a pure heart. It doesn't mean they're not doing it from a pure motives. Motives. That, that That's the thing. Purity of heart. What are your motives? Are your motives really uh, to, to help in, to help others, to help advance the kingdom of God, to help the king going forward? We're, our job is to help Jesus Christ, the king of kings. Verse 12, the eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the faithless. Oh, wow. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge. You know, he, he you know, the, we think we know something, but God knows it all. He says, I, 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 I will preserve the right things, but he overthrows the words of the faithless. When you don't have the faith in God, uh, he, he overthrows your words. And you can say a lot of things, but, you know, faithless, uh, that, that's an interesting thing. That means not trusting God in circumstance, saying, well, God, I'm not going to do this because of this. Well, that that's faithless. You know, and then, then the words you have, your truth, your knowledge gets all messed up. Um, people have it all the time. I'm, unfortunately, I, I, I hear this all the time from people. Well, I'm not. Uh, the classic one is this. And I, I, I've recently told this. I, well, I, 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 I can't come to the church or I can't go to this or I can't be there because of this other person, this other thing going on. Well, you know, that that when you do that, you're, 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 you're giving God, you're, you're being faithless, 100 percent faithless. Okay, not even 50% faithless, 100% faithless. Your faith has gone other direction because you're saying, God, this is a problem. This guy's a problem or this girl's a problem or this situation problem. That's a problem, God. I can no longer do what you want me to do. I can't do things. I can't I can't go share the gospel. I can't go to church anymore. I can't do this because, well, you know, uh, until you work it out, God, I can't be part of that. Okay, here's the thing. It's pretty arrogant. You're, all, you're saying, God, okay, God, well, you messed up. God doesn't mess up. Now, people mess up. People make mistakes. People cause issues. I get that all the time. But you know what? God loves you so very much. God wants to do so many great and mighty things for you. And, uh, and he says, he, God overthrows the words of what? The faithless. And he says, you know, when you when you say, God, do this, he, he'll, not your words by God. He's going to overthrow your words in your own life, things you want in your life, because you decide to put something else for God. Hey, God, there's a contingency on me being part of you. Me being part of your family. Me being part of your church. Me being part of your plan. Well, then, then what happened was, is you really never had faith in God to begin with. You only had faith in God as long as God did what you thought God wanted to do. And see, God has all the knowledge. He knows everything that's happening. He knows the whole big picture. You don't. You never will. And unfortunately, a lot of people get that. And then and they leave God. And then they're going to find they're on the wrong side of the street at the end. And I really feel for those people. Um, and, I, I, and, and I'll be honest, people do that. I, I tell them right out. Uh, you, you're, you're telling God you don't, you, you don't have faith in him when you make those statements. And yeah, I've, some people have left the church over the years and different things. And I'm like, yeah, you know, but you know, if God's either, you either have faith in God 
or you don't. There's not like a whole lot of in between there. God, and God puts up with some doubt and some things here, and He, he allows that to happen. He allows us to ask questions. Um, but when you say, God, man, I, I just can't be around that person. I can't be around that thing, or I can't be around that situation. Though, but God wants you there, and God puts you there. Uh, you're saying, God, you don't have faith for God to protect you. You don't have faith for God to make the outcome come out good. You're telling God you don't have any faith. It's a very dangerous place to be. Don't put yourself there. So, I know that's kind of a downer for today, but remember as always that Jesus loves you. I love you. And you're absolutely awesome.